Everybody had their own kind of method of how they, they got the ketchup out of the bottle. Because can you agree with me that the, getting the ketchup out of the bo bottle was a total pain in the <laughs> fill in the blank? Everybody, can you agree that the experience of getting the ketchup out of the bottle was actually a pain, right? And so everybody had their own method of how you get the ketchup out of the bottle. And so maybe you were somebody who subscribed to just the shake it like mad method. You know what I'm talking about? Some people just the, the hit it in the back of the, of the bottom, you know, to get the ketchup coming out. Some people, and this was kind of like a secret society, you know, like a fraternity or sorority or something, where some people thought there was a little, you know, there's that little 57 logo on the side, and they thought that that was like the sweet spot. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And you thought that if you hit it just right, you know, that that was the secret to getting the ketchup to flow out, you know? There was a real underground belief in that mode of operation. Or you went, you know, just with the turn on the side, go knife in approach, you know, that was a nice technique. The shake, just shake it like mad. Everybody had their own approach to get the ketchup out of the bottle because it was such a pain to actually get the ketchup. And I, there, I keep a, a bottle just like that in my office as a reminder of this idea of small questions and small innovations. Because I'm not so sure why it took so long, and I, I like to believe that it was in some like smoke-filled room or something, you know, with high-powered executives sitting around, you know, and they were scheming for the future, and then they came up with this idea. But the reality is it was probably the intern in the room, you know, that raised their hand and was like, hey, I got an idea. I'm no, I know I'm the idiot that doesn't know anything, but what if we try something different? What if we just turn the ketchup bottle upside down and kind of reorient the opening at the bottom of the bottle and then maybe let, just let gravity work and then it just you know, won't be a pain to get the ketchup out. I don't know why it took so long for somebody to ask that one question. I bet there's a better way to do this. I bet there's a better way for the, the customers to experience our product. And of course, now everything's made out of plastic and everything's oriented upside down. But the reason why I keep that in front of me as an example is that on this journey and in this fast-moving, in, you know, instantaneous world that we live in today, an ethic of successful people and an, an ethic of successful leaders is this innovative questioning. Once again, not huge solve all the problems of the world questioning, although that'd be great, but it's in these very small questions every day Am I asking this within my team? Hey, I know we've always done it this way, but what would it mean for us to flip the ketchup bottle upside down? What if we tried this slightly differently? What if, fill in the blank, that the very best leaders and teams and organizations are living and practicing this innovative questioning every day and everything they do, and they realize that creativity is not just a one-time thing, you know, and creativity is not just, oh, you're creative and you're not, and you are and you're not, that actually creativity is a practice. Creativity and innovation is an ethic. It's something that we begin to build within the culture of everything that we do every day 